So we are going to make a hydraulic hose. Uh, we had one low on the backhoe and we are going to recreate it in real time. So anyway, so this is a 6G hose, which I believe is a 3 8 uh, about 20 inches long. So we're going to take that and we're going to cut 20 inches off and then we're going to take an air hose and we're going to blow out the stuff from the inside. So it doesn't get into the hydraulic system. mushroom out so you take the burr off on the edge of the blade uh, probably shouldn't do that but it's up to you what you want to do so that's how I did it happen to be flat face o-ring fittings as you can see so they have a, an array of fittings um, so we found the ones we needed um, when you get in these the first number is going to be your hose size and the second number is going to be the fitting size and then the type of fitting is kind of in there I don't know exactly how to decipher it but it's uh, 3 8 hose with a 3 8 fitting I believe so, anyway, that's what I think. Anyway, it's a 60 hose, 60 fitting. So I blew it out with air and went to put it in there. And then we'll go over to the crimping machine and we shall crimp it. All right, so if you look at the chart, we have uh, different dies. We have to change out the die for the different size hoses. So we'll swing this out of the way. And we need to pull the die out. That's what the die looks like. It just squeezes the hose. Um, There's a washer on there. There's a 35. Let me see. Or 32. We have a 33 and a 22. <coughs> We don't have a 32, so we're going to use the 22. You don't have a 32? No. Nope. We got a 21, a 35, and a 33. Oh, okay. That solves that. So, what are we going to use? <coughs> 370s are setting. I need what to set it. 370? 370. So here's a car to use, or we use. And we'll come over here, we get our hose sizes, and like a cramp, uh, cramp length, full cramp, and all that. And it gives us the die size uh, and the approximate digital setting. It's uh, 
It's like an analog digital type thing. I'll show you. And uh, that's how you get your, I guess it's the pressure, but I'm not exactly sure what the digital setting is. It just, it, it's pretty much just a pressure setting. So once it hits that pressure, it kind of goes off, I guess. I mean, I don't, I'm not exactly sure. The technical term. back in place. A little lock in there. Come over here. Alright, so here's the way the die and everything hooks up. There's your pushing ring. And this is our setting up here that they call the digital setting. So I'll turn this to 370. And once we get it all in there, we will hit the button. And then when this red light lights up, we have hit our 370 mark and we let go. And then the, the press retracts. So, so we'll take a hose. We'll feed it up from the bottom. It's all in, right? Make sure we're all the way in. And like so, you get it so it's just just below the top, which is where we are. We hit a button. Yeah, it goes up. And that comes up. We've got a little bump up. And we've got a hose made. So, that's how you make a hydraulic hose. And I hope that can help somebody. Uh, this is a Gates mobile crimp system. In case anyone's wondering. Not me. Not you? You're not wondering? Oh, you know all about it. No, yeah. <laughs> Alright. I do I can. Anyway, I thank you for watching. I hope that can help someone. Have a nice day.